Okay y'all, here's a video about IVs because IVs are very important to CT scans because of the contrast bolus that's going in to the study. So here are a few gauges and we'll start from the smallest to the biggest. So it's 24 gauge, it's considered small because the gauge is tiny, even though the number is big, 24 is bigger than 18 but the needle and the catheter is larger, it's a larger bore than the 24. So this is 24 gauge is really, really small. You can see that it's 22 milliliters per minute. And then this one goes up, right? So you could put more, 35 milliliters per minute, 60 milliliters per minute, and 105 milliliters per minute. So you could push more um, contrast or whatever into a bigger catheter. So just know that the bigger the number, the smaller the gauge. So this is something that we would use on like a baby. It's really tiny. We hardly ever use this. Um, 22 is like the basic, but I want to compare this 22 gauge because it's a 22 diffusics to this 22 gauge. So see how this is 35 milliliters per minute. This is also 22 gauge, but it's actually 45 milliliters per minute. So the PSI on this is a lot bigger. It'll handle more PSI pressure than this one. The bigger, the better. So this is like, can go with anyone. The angio, the routines, these will be sufficient for any CT scans, whether it's going at a higher rate or a lower rate. This one, will be sufficient as well because you can go you can push it in at a higher rate these are all 300 psi's all of these are 300 psi's it's just a matter of how much can you put into the catheter this one is a psi of 325 does it say it here it doesn't but this is a higher psi rating so it can go with any scan and then these are all 300 psi but it can't go with any scan so this is more routine study really 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 slow and then so forth so this is high so just make sure whether you're doing an angio so angios and stuff will go with the higher psi and the bigger bore routines like routine abdomen some venous phases and stuff can go with this and of course that depends on um, the weight of the patient too, because if you're gonna give a lot more contrast to a heavier patient, let's say four or 500 pound patient, and you have a scan that's a venous phase and it needs to finish in 70 seconds, you want a bigger gauge because you want to push in more to give more to the ratio so the parameters can sufficiently fulfill those anatomy and tissue and organs at a better rate. So this is part one of what we need to give contrast. And I think it's best for nurses and techs and even doctors to know which gauge can go with which study. Um, because if you come to our scanner and you come with a 22 gauge for a pulmonary embolism or any angio scan, we cannot do it. It's not gonna take the pressure rating there's no way that we can push that much contrast into a small little pipe hole. So just FYI, IV is important for a study.